podcast brought to you by the GSMC Sports Network. Moving into our second segment here, but before we do that, I'd like to ask you again to please like and follow the show. We do get our notification questions from viewers, so to ensure that your question does get read right in the air, please use the link at gsmcpodcast.net. Really does help the show, and it really does mean a lot, so thank you so much for that. And let's get into the, back to the show for today. All right, so talking about uh, continuing our first segment, which is the National League All-Star Reserves. Uh, I forgot to change the text here, so let me do that very quickly. There we go. Uh, so, yeah, talking about the National League All-Star Game Reserves. Yeah, just talked about the AL, so wanted to, you know, do both leagues here. So, yeah, going over the National League All-Star Reserves, and uh, let's get into it. We're starting off with the pitchers. So, first off, we have from the Los Angeles Dodgers, Tyler Glasnow. Yeah, Glasnow is an obvious pick that you had to have in here. Has had an amazing, amazing season here in Los Angeles since getting traded to his hometown Dodgers. Has been one of the bigger reasons why this Dodgers rotation has not fallen apart with all the injuries they've had. Has had, again, an amazing season with them. Has been really, really great and 100% deserves to be in this pick here. Next, we have from the St. Louis Cardinals, Ryan Helsley. I think Helsley's had an amazing, amazing season here. Um, Overall, has been um, one of the biggest reasons why this Cardinals team has been pretty good. Has been a lockdown closer for them, and I think this pick is definitely deserved. He's had a great, great season, and I'm very glad that he is going to get the credit he deserves for it. Next, we have from the Philadelphia Phillies, another reliever, Jeff Hoffman. Yeah, Hoffman, I think, is definitely deserving of this pick. Really interesting career for him. Started off as a prospect bus for the Rockies, went to the Reds the next year, really did not do great there, and went to the Phillies and has become a fantastic reliever with them. I mean, just sometimes it's a change of organization, and sometimes an organization knows when you have something. And the Phillies have done a fantastic job developing him to being a really good relief pitcher. And, yeah, I think 100% deserves this pick. Very nice story for him. And, yeah, I think this is uh, a very good selection here. And, uh, my opinion, definitely, definitely deserved. Next, we have from the Chicago Cubs, Shota Imanaga. Yeah, again, Imanaga, I think a pick you had to have here. Has had a fantastic rookie season with the Cubs. Of course, started off having one of the greatest rookie seasons ever. Um, has slowed down a little bit, unfortunately, but we all I think we all knew that was coming. He wasn't going to stay as great as he was the start of the year. I mean, he was doing insane. So it was never sustainable. Has come back down to earth a little bit, but still is a play you had to have in this game. Has been so, so good. And, yeah, I think this is a pick you had to have here. Has been so, so good. And, again, is just um, an essential, essential pick that was needed to be here. Has, again, had a fantastic season with the Cubs. Yeah, I think this 100% deserved. Next, we have from the Atlanta Braves, Reynaldo Lopez. What a season Reynaldo Lopez has had, man. I mean, when I, me like a lot of people, when we saw that the Braves were tr- were changing Lopez back to starting pitcher after six or seven years of being a reliever, we were like, okay, that's interesting. Not sure if that's going to work. And man, has it worked out. Has been a lockdown starter for the Braves this year. One of the big reasons why their, their rotation has stayed afloat even with the Spencer Strider injury, him and the next guy on this list, of course, I'm sure you can see who that is. But, yeah, Lopez has had an amazing, amazing season with Atlanta here. And, yeah, deserves this pick. What a season for him. Congratulations to him with how good he's been. Yeah, definitely deserved. Next, we have his teammate, of course, also from the Atlanta Braves, Chris Sale. Kind of like Renato Lopez, when he came over in a trade from Boston to Atlanta, I was like, okay, that's interesting. The way you're going to fix your pitching injuries is getting Chris Sale in 2024. But, man, as he worked out, has been a fantastic pitcher with Atlanta this year. Has been really, really good, kind of capturing back the old days of Chris Sale back um, with the first years of Boston, later years of Chicago. So, yeah, I think he's been a fantastic pitcher for Atlanta this year. Um, is a great, great pick for this game. And, yeah, I think is 100% deserving of this pick. Really good job to him for um, revitalizing his career as he has. So, yeah, great job there and definitely deserved. Next we have from the Miami Marlins, Tanner Scott. Scott has been one of the best relievers all year for Miami. Couldn't think of anyone better to be their representative in this game. Probably won't be a Miami Marlin by this time in August, but we'll have to see. I'm sure he's going to get traded. It's one of the biggest pieces at this trade deadline for any team that needs a reliever. So, I think that overall, this definitely deserved pick for the Marlins. Scott has been absolutely fantastic, has been one of the best relievers in baseball all year, really since coming over from Baltimore a few years ago, has been a lockdown reliever for this Marlins team. So, yeah, has been really, really good and definitely deserves to be the pick here for the Marlins. Sorry about that. Did have to cough. Like I said, I am a little bit under the weather, so if you do see me cough or sneeze, uh, I do apologize. But, yeah. 
I'm going into the next player here from the Pittsburgh Pirates, Paul Skeens. Who would have thought? Paul Skeens, an all-star a year after he was drafted first overall. The first player in MLB history to be an all-star the year after he was drafted. And man, I mean, what are we going to say about Paul Skeens that hasn't been said? Might be the NL Cy Young favorite right now as a rookie. He's having one of the greatest rookie seasons ever already, and he's made like 10 starts. So, yeah, he 100% deserves being an all-star. Anyone telling you he doesn't, doesn't like fun. I mean, he's been so, so good. I, I can't say enough nice things about Paul Skeens and how a fantastic he's been. Has changed the culture in Pittsburgh already after 10 starts. Is incredible, is an amazing, amazing pitcher, and 100% deserves to be on this all-star team here. Yeah, 100% deserved. Next, we have another Phillies reliever, Matt Strom. Strom has been a fantastic pitcher for the Phillies. Uh, great reliever there. No, no, uh, nothing to say about that here. Has been a great, has been a great pitcher, and it's definitely deserved. Next, we have his Phillies teammate, a starter this time, Ranger Suarez. Yeah, Suarez has been the NL Cy Young favorite for majority of the season. Might might not be it now uh, with a few rough starts, but still has been absolutely fantastic. Um, is one of the biggest reasons why the Phillies have been as good as they have been this year, the best record in baseball. So yeah, I think this is 100% deserved. I think that Suarez 100% deserves to be in this game. It was a great, great pick, and yeah, uh, is a great selection here. Next we have from uh, the San Francisco Giants, we have Logan Webb. Yeah, great pick again here. Webb has been a great, great selection. Um, overall has been an amazing, amazing pitcher. I think that, um, again, he's consistently been one of the best starting pitchers in all of baseball. He's a master at inducing ground balls. Has been such a good, solid pitcher for San Francisco these past few years. Has really been great. And I think that overall, this is definitely deserved a really, really good pick. And yeah, uh, definitely, definitely deserved here for San Francisco. A very, very nice selection. And yeah, I 100% agree with this. I did actually skip over someone, which is strange, but Robert Suarez of the San Diego Padres. Yeah, Suarez also deserves to be here. Has been a lockdown reliever since coming over to Korea two years ago with San Diego. And now has been just fantastic. Gave him a big contract to be their closer. He has not... Uh, he has not underperformed and been exactly what they needed out of that pen. Has been a great, great pitcher for them. And yeah, 100% deserves it here. Finally, again from the Philadelphia Phillies, Zach Wheeler. Yeah, again, it's Wheeler. What else are you going to say, right? One of the best pitchers in all baseball. He's having a great season again. Definitely deserves to be here on this list. And yeah, definitely deserves to be an all-star. Again, as a Mets fan, happy for him. Good pick here. Next, we have the position players. Starting off with C.J. Abrams from the Washington Nationals. Yeah, Abrams had an amazing, amazing season with the Nationals here. Has really broken out, has become the player the Nationals were expecting after they got him in the Juan Soto trade. And yeah, has just been an absolutely fantastic, fantastic player with this Nationals team. I think this is very, very deserved and is a great selection here. Has had a great, great season with Washington and really is one of the big pieces of the Nationals' future that represents hope for this franchise. Next, we have one of the more surprising selections of the All-Star game, Pete Alonso from the New York Mets. Now, again, as a Mets fan, I was shocked with this pick, honestly. Alonso's been a good player this year, but I thought there were a lot of other Mets that were really more deserving. I thought Brandon Nimmo was more deserving. I thought Francisco Lindor was more deserving as well. well I'll talk about them both later. And I thought Christian Walker was way more deserving as an NL first baseman. I guess they wanted Alonzo in because he hasn't had a bad season. I want to make that clear. He hasn't had a bad season. It's just I think there's been players who have had better seasons. And... Um, I think they wanted him in because he would do the, the home run derby, which, of course, he's amazing at winning two times in a row. But it's just a perplexing pick. I thought there were a lot more players deserving. And, yeah, I think that overall is an interesting pick. But it's not horrible. He hasn't had a bad season. Just surprising when you look at his stats this year. They're not exactly – they don't exactly stream all-stars. So I'm not – you know, that was surprising. Luis Arias from the Padres. Rice is a good player. Not sure if he deserves to be an all-star. Again, he hit he hits great for average, so I think a lot of people think he's amazing when he's in, in reality, he's a very solid player, but he doesn't play great defense. He doesn't do much outside of hits for, you know, singles and all that. So I think he's a good solid player, but just not sure if he deserves to be an all-star. Not surprising though. Mookie Betts, of course, MVP candidate before he got hurt. Obviously, he's going to be replaced by someone. I'm sure it's gonna be Lindor of the Mets. If it's not, I'd be absolutely shocked. But yeah. Um, obviously, he's had a great season, but not going to talk about him too much because he is hurt and is obviously going to be replaced by someone. 
L.A. De La Cruz, the Reds, yes, very happy for him that he did end up getting in this game. Has had an amazing, amazing season for the Reds. Has uh, quickly become one of the stars of MLB, one of the faces of our league. And, yeah, has just been an absolutely fantastic player for this Reds team. Has been really, really good. And I think 100% deserves to be on this pick here for the Reds. Has been such a good player. And, yeah, has become, again, quickly one of the faces of our game. And is so marketable and very happy for him to be here. Freddie Freeman for the Dodgers. Obviously Freeman. I mean, he's been an all-star a million years in a row at this point, it seems like. Nothing to talk about. He's absolutely fantastic. One of the best players in all the, in all of baseball, no doubt here. His teammate, Teoscar Hernandez, also made it. Um, yeah, uh, Teoscar has been absolutely fantastic with the Dodgers in signing that one-year contract. Has been a huge part of the Dodgers' offense. 100% deserves this pick. He's in line for a big contract this offseason from whatever team. And yeah, I think this is a great, great selection here by the Dodgers. By MLB, a great player for the Dodgers, and yeah, 100% deserves it. Next, we have from the Colorado Rockies, their only representative. Who else but Ryan McMahon? I've talked with McMahon on the show a bunch of times, but yeah, he's been absolutely fantastic this year. Has been a great, great player for them. He's easily their best player right now and should easily have been their representative, and thankfully he is. Has had such a good season with Colorado. Has been such a great, great player. And yeah, overall, I think this is 100% deserved. Um... I think that this is the correct selection, and really nobody on Colorado deserved this other than McMahon. He's had a great, great season. Props to him. Next, we have another rookie making the all-star team, Jackson Merrill. Merrill has been absolutely fantastic this year with San Diego, has made the transition to, short, to center field from shortstop perfect, and has been a huge reason of, uh, it has been a huge part of this Padres team. Has been so, so good this year, and yeah, overall has been absolutely fantastic. And I think has been such a huge part of this Padres team and definitely deserves this pick. And yeah, this is a great, great selection. Really, really good pick here. Next we have from the Atlanta Braves, Marcelo Zuna. Ozuna has been absolutely fantastic this year. Sorry about this. Sorry about that. Uh, Ozuna has been absolutely fantastic this year. Has been really, really good. I mean, has just been a huge surprise with this Atlanta team, with how good he's been. has been one of the biggest reasons why this offense has stayed afloat since the Acuna injury. Definitely deserves to be an all-star. And, yeah. Hilliard Ramos from the Giants is next. Ramos talked about as a guy I could see potentially starting in the all-star game, so I thought he definitely deserved to make it. And, yeah, 100%. I mean, he's been so, so good this year. Really out of nowhere. Has been a huge reason behind this Giants offense not being absolutely horrible. And, yeah, definitely deserves this pick. Has been a breakout player this year. Has been absolutely fantastic. And, yeah, has been a great, great player for this Giants team. Next, we have from the Pittsburgh Pirates, Brian Reynolds. Reynolds has been so, so good this year for this for this Pirates team. I mean, has been absolutely fantastic. I mean, I don't know what else to say about this guy. But, yeah, Reynolds has been such a great player for this Pirates team for years and years now. Second highest OPS for NL outfielders. Has been so, so good. And, yeah, 100% deserves to be the pick here. And last but not least, Will Smith from the Los Angeles Dodgers. One of the best catchers in all baseball. No problems here. Now, going over some snubs, I think definitely could have been here for the All-Star game. Uh, first of all, we have Christian Walker. Again, I think he should have been in over Alonzo. But, you know, I guess they wanted Alonzo for the home run derby, so I get it. But still, should definitely try to get him a place in there. Francisco Lindor and Brandon Nemo, I don't know how they didn't get in there. I mean... I don't know what they what else they have to do. Um, I assume Lindor will be the will be the fill in for uh, will be the fill in for Mookie, and I think Nimmo will be the fill in for Tatis. I'm not sure who else would be more deserving than those two, but both fit absolutely fantastic seasons. I don't understand why they didn't really make it. Um, hope hopefully again they'll be the fill ins, and as a Mets fan, I'll be happy. But again, non biased looking at it, genuinely, you look at their stats. You look at them compared to the rest of the league, they've had absolutely fantastic seasons, and I definitely think they deserve to be here. Christian Walker as well, over one of the Mets players in Alonzo, I, I think also should have been in. So, yeah. Uh, that is my second segment here, talking about the NL All-Star Game Reserves. Moving into our third segment, we'll be talking about the New York Yankees and their recent struggles, 6-16 six and 16 in uh, you know their last handful of games. So, yeah, definitely not great. We'll be talking about that, and we'll see you after the break. So thanks, and bye. 